These weekend revelers in the Polish capital Warsaw are getting down to popular folk dances known as mazurkas and polkas. Their lively rhythms emerge from the belly of the Kalish bass, a long-forgotten medieval folk instrument cut from a single block of wood. This instrument produces an archaic sound. It's raw and a little twisted. It sounds good with other instruments. It's hard to compare to anything else. You just have to hear it yourself. It really sounds like an old instrument. After virtually disappearing, the Kalish bass is being brought back to life thanks to Polish musician and instrument maker Mateusz Szaszewski. He uses axes, saws and chisels similar to those employed centuries ago. But he says the main trick is to use the right type of wood. Poplar is the best type of wood for carved instruments. It's easy to cut, a very soft wood. Even when it's dry, it's as flexible as cardboard. Once it's finished, the instrument is hard enough to emit a deep sound, and it's not too heavy, the musician can lift it. Raszewski brings the instruments to life in his workshop. In keeping with the long abandoned old techniques, he uses metal nails instead of wooden pegs and glue. Although they look rustic, Kalish bases have surprisingly sophisticated design features. It turned out that these instruments have the same kind of technical solutions that can be found in the instruments of the Welsh Celts from the 7th century. It's pretty amazing. Once it's tuned up, it's ready to be played. And now it's time for some fun at an annual folk instrument festival that has become a mecca for fans both young and old.